Hi guys, Ronnie here. A uh, quick video about the SRAM bits that I got today. So the first one, uh, nothing special, 40 tooth chainring for my cycle cross bike. Uh, it should arrive soon and the problem with the stock one is that it comes with a 46 tooth single chainring. So I think that's a bit too much considering that uh, Wout Van Art and the other pros were using 42s when racing, so I think 40 will be a much more suitable uh, application for for my cyclocross bike. And then I got something a bit more special here. This is a SRAM RED uh, 22 mechanical rear derailleur. And I have to tell you, it's beautiful. Also comes with the new graphics as seen on the ETAP version. Uh, and I got this for my TT bike uh, one by setup. Uh, as you can see, I have the Force One uh, derailleur up on there. And to be honest, uh, the idea of using a Red 22 with an oversized pulley wheel system as one by has been in my head since day one, since basically I built this setup and uh, soon I'm going to try it out. Uh, one problem that I have with this force one derailleur is that it keeps the chain super tight even on the lowest, lowest cog, the tallest gear and thus uh, robbing a bit of efficiency and also uh, the narrow wide pulley wheels from ceramic speed, they engage the chain very, very tightly. So I think there's a lot of friction, even if I just back pedal right there. Yes, it has huge chain security, but also adds a lot of friction. So I think that's not really necessary for a time trial bike. And I think the chain security is going to be good enough with the oversized pulleyable system uh, adjusted to the highest tension so yeah the mechanical version of this is also on the way uh, for my TT bike at least they are going to look similar now and I will also have a spare force on the radar for my uh, cyclocross bike and I also can use uh, the ceramic speed pulley wheels on it so not basically nothing will go to waste. Uh, and then I also got an XX1 chain. Now the chain I have on my TT bike is an uncut red 22. And that's with the, the short cage force one derailleur basically. So I think if I put the oversized pulley wheel system on, it's going to be too short either way. So the XX1 uh, has 118 links versus 114 for the red 22 and it's quite similar in design I'm going to compare the two later on maybe in a separate video but I suspect this one could be made to tidal, tighter tolerances and to higher quality because uh, it's it's a fair bit more expensive than the red 22 and it should work even better maybe but that's something I need to try out and it's just my guess but the extra length uh, surely is uh, going to be appreciated. Uh, yeah, so one more look at the derailleur. I have noticed that very little uh, of it is made out of metal actually. Both sides of the cage are carbon fiber. Of course, I'm not going to use this one, but the oversized one is constructed in the same way. And then both of these pieces are made of carbon. It's basically just the outer uh, lever, the parallelogram, and the knuckle itself that's made out of aluminum. It's all beautifully machined and finished out. It's around 100 grams lighter than a Force One with the clutch on it. So it's well, weight savings, not that important in time trial but it should be a lot more sleeker, so maybe there's a tiny, tiny marginal aero gain on there as well because the Force One is quite bulky 
with its uh, with its clutch basically just a big bulk right here as I'm showing you the finger so we'll see how it works I think the chain security is going to be good enough even with this because I've got the arc chainring on which has huge very tall teeth so I think the engagement is going to be pretty safe on there Okay, so this is pretty much it. Uh, this, these are the things I got today. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to try out these uh, modifications very soon. And if you'd like to see the results, then of course, don't forget to tune into my channel and subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you next time.